Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 3, lesson 3, two digit dividends. Page number is uh, 169. Guys, first of all, uh, see that what is dividend? Like you have a question 36 divided 3. So the first number and the big number which will come inside this division sign. That is known as the dividend. And the second number, the small number, which come outside here, that is known as the divisor. Divisor, dividend and divisor. And the answer of the division, that is known as quotient. Okay. Let us solve the examples here. First example, Ali donates his toys to five different charities. He has a total of 75 toys to donate. So he will divide 75 uh, with 5. 75 divide 5, you know that 70 is 75 is dividend, it will come inside. 5 is divisor out here. Now, guys, when you have one digit, so you divide 1 by 1. Okay, first one digit only. 5 times what will give you 7 or less than that? You can't get more than that. So 5 times 1 is equal to 5 and 5 times 2 is equal to 10. 10 is more than 7. You can't divide by uh, 2. So you will take the first one. 5 times 1 equals 5. The next step in division, we minus. 7 minus 5 is 2. Then we finish the first digit. Now it's turn for the second one. We will bring it down here with this 2. It will become 25 now. Now we'll think 5 times what will give me 25. So 5 times 5 is equal to 25. So the quotient is 15. 25 minus 25 equals to 0. The remainder is 0. So each charity will get 15 toys. Here it is. Next page now. Uh, see this guys? First point. There could be a remainder. Okay, I will show you in this example what is remainder. Like we are dividing 57 with 4. So as I told you, we just have one digit. So we will multiply divide one by one. The first with this digit, then with this digit. If the first digit is less than the divisor, then we can take two digits together. Okay, but here we have uh, 5 greater than 4, not less than 4. So we can divide by one digit only. 4 times 1 equals 4. Okay, 4 times 2 is 8. But that 8 is more than 5. So we can't times it by 2. 4 times 1, 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. Then we bring this 7 down. Now, 4 times 4 is 16. And 4 times seven, uh, 5 is 20. But we can't take 20 because it's more than 17. So we'll take 4 times 4, 16. 17 minus 16, 1. So we have a remainder here. When we have a number left less than the divisor, so we can't divide it more. If we divide it more, we'll reach to the decimals. So we're not doing the decimals now. So 1 is remainder, and we write it like this, 14 and R1, remainder 1. Okay, guys, next example here, 5 and 6, so 5 times 1 is 5, 6 minus 5, 1, we bring this 5 down, 5 times 3, 15, 15 minus 15, 0, no remainder, 3 times 1, 3, 4 minus 3, 1, bring this 5 down, 3 times 5, 15, 15 minus 15, 0, no remainder, okay. Similarly, guys, you will solve all these problems, and uh, this is independent practice. You have to solve all these problems by yourself, and then you can match your answers from this video. I will show you some examples here, uh, like this. Let's say, let me show you one. Mm, let me show you the first one. Four. And 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 4 minus 3, 1. Bring the 2 down. And 3 times 4, 12. And no remainder. In this one, we have remainder. 2 times 1, 2. 3 minus 2, 1. 
then bring the 3 down it become 13 now 2 times 6 is 12 and 2 times uh, 5 is 10 so 10 is far from 13 12 is closer to 13 and 2 times 4 14 uh, 2 times 7 is 14 more than 13 so the suitable one is 2 times 6 12 13 minus 12 1 I hope you understand this guys solve it by yourself and then match your answers here uh, don't get confused by the variables you have to divide it just like this one and then the quotient is the unknown digit here okay Ronja practiced a total of 52 hours in four weeks to prepare for a piano uh, rectal. If she practiced the same number of hours each week, so 52 divided by 4, 52 inside and 4 outside, and then here you will write 52, 4, 4 times 1, 4 minus 5 minus 4, 1, you will bring the 2 down. 4 times 3 is 12 minus 0. So here is the answer. Next one, guys. Five students volunteer to carry boxes. There are 62 boxes. Is it possible for each student to carry the same number of boxes? Like if we divide 62 with 5, we will get a remainder of 2. So two students will take two extra boxes. Okay. Question 17. Uh, leave it. No need of this. Cross it. And to the next one. Uh, how does place value help me divide? Draw a model to support your explanation. So first divide the tens, then bring down the ones and divide the ones and write the remainder. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you understand the lesson. If you really understand, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saab. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.